Welcome to the woodshed where we talk fire and beer and just general talk about the day. Got some color in the fire, it's hard to tell, but there's some blue and some green going on in there in the wood while we got some wood burning. We got beers that we've been drinking, a couple good IPAs, which is my favorite. But because of my girlish figure, I like to switch over to something a little lighter, so I do a little mixture. We got some good blue beer, good blue flame going on in there. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna try to get in there and get you a better blue beer. Blue beer. We don't have no blue beer, but we got blue flame. We also got beers. We're gonna get to the beers in a minute. Let's just give a minute for the fire. Had some uh, seltzers. Had a Imperial Strong IPA as my first beer. And a couple other ones. And we're going to crack open another one while we do the video so we can talk while we're drinking beer to keep my palate wet. It's hard to talk without having a little bit of... Uh, it's called wetting your whistle. Wetting the whistle, yeah. Wet the whistle. We got flame coloring going on with the wood in the woodshed. We got beers that we drank earlier, and we got beers that we're drinking now. The fire is really, really hot. I can't get too close to it because it'll burn my phone up, and I really don't want to burn my phone up. So... Without further ado, let me get some light on the situation to tell you what beers we were drinking this evening. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Sam Adams IPA. Corona Seltzer, Bud Light Seltzer, and the best one of all, Sierra Nevada Fantastic Haze. Imperial IPA, 9% ABV on that Imperial IPA. So I'm getting back away from the heat because my phone's about to get burning up. So I'm moving on back and we're talking about the beers because I had tried all those. Some of them are repeats. But the Sam Adams is a jam-up New England-style IPA. It's got roughly about 6.7% ABV. Got some nice color in the fire. We had the Sierra Nevada Fantastic Haze, which was just fantastic beer, taste-wise. And it's got a good bit of alcohol kick to it. So it's a 9% ABV beer. We got a lot of nice color coming in the fire right now, and the wood's burning up pretty quick. I'm not out here to promote any particular beer or drinking or anything like that, but we're just here to talk. The seltzers are what I call my diet beer because I'm trying to watch my figure and my weight and not develop any more of a beer belly than I already got. Drinking too much strong beer will promote a big old beer belly. So therefore, sometimes we drink some seltzers and diet beers. We got some pretty green on that wood. I predict that piece of wood is going to fall out the door. Yeah, the, the piece of wood might fall and it might take out our cans like a bowling pin, which... Time will tell. It remains to be seen. But this is one of the best colorful fires I've seen in a while. Normally, I don't see as much color in the fire. Even when I put the color in there, it just seems to dud away some. But today, we got some really nice color in this fire. And there's purple, blue, green, orange. Nice coal base going on. And there's a lot of heat coming from it, folks. It's not very cold out tonight. So therefore, it's not really needed for heat 
we're just here to what you're saying junior's you're not cold junior's not cold mr j's over here and he's not cold either he don't even have a coat on just sitting here right up near the fire enjoying the pretty view and today is the day after the super bowl if you're a football fan and some of us rednecks watch a little bit of football whether it be college football or professional football or as i like to call it it's the wwe version with a football out on the field and some of you might take offense to that but you know those folks out there are just glorified athletes that get paid a ton of money almost like a glorified actor to go out there and perform for entertainment very similar to what this redneck's doing here we're providing an entertainment service and i do truly believe that those folks do nothing but entertain some pe people get really really offense mad when you tell them that they think everything in life is real but this guy right here i truly think that there's a lot of drama, a lot of acting going on, a lot of control based on ratings and money. Money makes the world go round, folks. Believe it or not, money will make the world go round. So depending on how the money falls is how I feel that, and it ain't just football. You could be talking basketball, you could be talking baseball, you could be talking hockey, you could be talking whatever sport you want to talk. Money talks, folks, and whoever's putting up that money for that particular front, there's no way that money is just being left up to chance. And you're not telling me that there's some individual that can sit out there and tell you that a football game is going to end within a certain point spread and over-under spread, and then 99% of the time, them jokers are right. How can that be, folks? There ain't no person in this godforsaken earth that is that good that can predict that stuff to end the way it does. So you do your own opinion, and I'll have my own opinion, agree or disagree, that stuff is completely controlled. All right, you're hitting, a, hitting the nail with the hammer. Yeah. And I watched a little bit of Super Bowl last night, and I seen what they did, how it played out, and I'm pretty darn sure it played out the way they wanted it to play out. The Chiefs, look like teetotal garbage why they look like teetotal garbage in the biggest game of their oh look at there we just knocked that can down with that piece of wood so somehow the chiefs turned out to play like garbage after they played so great all season long it's one of those amazing epiphanies that if you would because it played out the way they wanted it to play out. They played it out like they wanted it to play out. So it ended the way they wanted it to end based on money and ratings. Ginger's talking about football. Yeah, we're talking about football for about another minute. Maybe not even a minute because the fire's needing some attention. And Junior's going to have to get up and give it some attention because we got logs hanging out the front that knocked that can down onto the ground. It's hard to see. There it is right there. Knocked the can down. We've got some other cans up there that we already talked about the beer. So, if you watched the football game and enjoyed it, great. The halftime show, not so much. I was not a very big fan of the halftime shows. I'm going to be honest. After the halftime show was over, I cut the game off. I didn't even watch a single bit of it after that because the game was just ridiculous. The halftime show was ridiculous. So I just gave it up and said, 
I'm not watching it anymore. And I'm sure a lot of folks stayed with it and watched it, but eventually at some point in time, the NFL and other sports are going to have to realize that we the people, we're not dumb. Sometimes we talk dumb and act dumb and do dumb stuff. But we know, we know what's going on. It's just like everything in life. It's all controlled by the money and the power of the folks who pull the strings and we are the puppets. So, we're going to go ahead and close this video out for the night. And I hope you all enjoyed this. And if you stuck with it this long, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. If you didn't stick along this long, then you won't be able to do it. But we're here. We're going to keep making videos and see how it goes. If it goes, it goes. If it don't, it don't. Y'all be good out there. Signing off from the woodshed.